Hi, I'm Brittany, here to give you your art fail of the day. So I was inspired by all the collectible types of books and I decided to paint on my hardcover copy of Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. And I wanted to make sure I left a li the little indent of the dragonfly that's on the front cover. Um, so I made sure to paint that in first so I wouldn't accidentally paint over it. Um, and I actually used my own reference photos of marsh marshes and different areas like that um, because I do live in the south even though I don't live in North Carolina like where this book's setting is um, I decided to use my own reference photos that I had um, to create some marsh scenery on the cover. I first started by just laying out a base color to mark where the water and the land would be and where they would meet and where the horizon line is. And I am using acrylic paint on this. Not going too much into the story because I don't want to spoil it for you guys if you haven't seen the movie that just came out or have haven't had time to read the book yet. I will read the synopsis for you. So it says, for years, rumors of the Marsh Girl have haunted Barkley Cove, a quiet town on the North Carolina coast. So in late 1969, when handsome Chase Andrews is found dead, the locals immediately suspect Kaya Clark, the so-called Marsh Girl. But Kaya is not what they say, sensitive and intelligent. She has survived for years alone in the marsh that she calls home, finding friends in the gulls and lessons in the sand. Then the time comes when she yearns to be touched and loved, when two young men from town become intrigued by her wild beauty. Kaya opens herself to a new life until the unthinkable happens. So it is a bit of a murder mystery with romance and kind of a coming of age in a way. Um, and also kind of like that feeling of being like left out of or being different from society and stuff in it. I really enjoyed it. Um, I have yet to see the movie, um, but I plan to eventually. Back to the painting, you see I'm kind of finishing up the base layers. I got the sky and the ground all situated. It was a little hard to do the wraparound on the spine. I didn't want to cover up the title or the dragonfly and the author's name, so it was a little hard to just kind of paint around that and make it like a cohesive wraparound painting on the book. And here, once I get all the sky covered in, I start on doing the background trees off in the distance. I just did some darker green to 
figure out how I wanted it across the horizon line and where I wanted the leaves to kind of sprout out to and I was gonna layer on other colors later so for working into my base colors I mostly used uh, greens, yellows, and browns for layering grasses in the marsh. I mixed all those together to kind of get just some different visual colors in there and didn't do too much like detail of single lines of grasses and here I'm doing kind of the same thing with adding leaves. I just did one layer of like a lighter leaf color on those trees back there. Here you see me laying in just some green to differentiate uh, the depth of your vision for seeing this marsh because otherwise it would look very flat. with just that plain tan color adding in some clouds because i felt like the sky was a little too bare with that just the blue and i knew it kind of matched the water a little bit too much if i was just going to do plain blues up there so i added in some clouds I did change the perspective on this part of my painting and then decided that it wasn't the best angle, um, so we'll go back to the overhead angle shortly. Um, I just want to try and get more perspectives in my time lapses of my paintings just to kind of for you to see different angle and kind of maybe see a difference in like how I angle my brush and different details that might help you see how I paint. Here I'm adding in those browns, yellows, greens that I talked about. Um, both just individual pieces of grass and then also kind of dry brushing that color in various other areas. I was really trying to use up the paint that I put on my palette, um, not to waste anything, so I definitely used pretty much the same colors throughout the painting as much as I could to not waste some of my colors. I did find that the colors I picked were a little brighter, I think, than I intended. Um, it's more of a summery, bright marsh, not a swamp. I was going to say a swamp. It's not a swamp. Um, which is okay. I think I wanted more of a... not really grayscale palette but like a darker palette than it turned out but I still like the way it did turn out. I also tried really hard to make the front blend through to the back um, since it was almost like trying to replicate a painting that I couldn't see because it was on the opposite side and I didn't want to lay my book like flat with the pages out because that would have I think been worse um so I tried my best to use the same techniques that I used on the front on the back as well
And now here is where I get into adding some highlights and shadows and more blues to the water to bring that out a little bit more. So I used some, a bunch of different blues, some greens, um, kind of like aqua colored greens, um, and also white for the very shiny light reflections. And then I added a very dark blue to shadow those clouds in the sky just to give them a little more depth, some shadow to make them look like they're actually puffy clouds that have shape up there. And then I am a little bit of a time kind of making that dragonfly stand out a little bit more. At first I thought maybe I was gonna do like a sharpie outline, like a black fine line marker outline, but then um, later you, you will see I just decided to um, add more color and definition with just paint because I felt like it would have stood out too much had I used a black outline, like it would have looked like a cartoon in the middle of something that was like a pretty landscape painting and I, I didn't think that would look as great. Here I moved on to the back cover, trying to use the same techniques, adding colors to the water and then shading out those clouds with some shadow and I also had to add more white to these ones because um, they kind of didn't get they dried a little grayer than the front ones and then I decided to add just some little tidbits like this branch that kind of overhangs and um, has something closer to your eye when you're looking at this back cover um, and if you have read the book or will read the book I added just little Easter eggs of a watchtower and a boat on the back cover there's me just kind of adding in that little tiny easter egg back there um and then on the front cover i'm fixing up that dragonfly and then adding a little shorebird which is also a kaya favorite in this story um, if you made it this far in the video and watched the whole thing, leave a dragonfly emoji in the comments. And I think I will be doing more of this book art type thing. So if you enjoyed this, please subscribe because I will do this again. Also, if you like any art, videos also subscribe and if you enjoyed this particular one please give this video a like and thank you so much for watching